Hey everybody, Taylor here. I am going to show off my Ultra Beast deck. I know they have a rap of being called <clears throat> Beast Box, but I just like to stay true to the video game and call them UB01 and UB02, depending on typing and stuff. So, I am running a Steel variant of the classic Naganadol deck. Oh, and I just got rid of that Celesteela. So I run a Celesteela, one of the baby Celesteelas, one baby Duskmane, and you, you honestly could take out the other Celesteela and add another baby Duskmane. It doesn't really affect much. Your damage output is a little bit different. I run the baby Celesteela in case we get into a 3-3 prize split, or, you know, any combination of 6, and I'm doing, what is that, 140 for a... Uh, single steel but it's a very situational card i'm also running dusk main here of course just a one of if i go down in prizes early or whatnot dusk main can easily turn the tide of the game that sun's eclipse gx for 250 is hard to stop it's got 190 so it's avoiding knockouts by most zorark decks too we, next we have a Cartana GX. I run this because there are a lot of decks playing with special energy. And you know, sometimes you just come down, it comes down to it, and you have to use Blade GX to just take that last prize. It's good to just slap down at the last minute. We are running three stack attackers. Ultra Roll is one heck of an ability. Taking 10 less damage from attacks, it's... It's changed the tide of some, some games, I'll tell you that. Uh, Assembly GX is good. Gigaton, Stomp. Kind of a last resort attack. I had to use it in a matchup before. 120 is a good amount of damage. Sucks that it's 3 energy though. Not gonna lie. Then we have 4 Poiples. And 3 Naganadols. I'm running my bling because I feel like I have to. So the Naganadol, for those who don't know, Beast Raid for a colorless energy does 20 damage times the amount of Ultra Beast in play that you have. So you're sitting there with a full bench, you're doing 120 damage easily for one colorless energy. This deck is good. I've played it at League a couple times, and yeah, it's hard to stop. As far as you will see, though, I am not running any Lele's. I don't run a Lele in this deck because it just takes up a bench spot, and it takes you from 120 down to 100. I think that the 120 is well worth it. And I run plenty of supporters. I run a decent supporter account for everything. Just so I can hit certain numbers. Moving on to our trainers. We are running one Beast Ball. I'm just running the one Beast Ball in case I prize something vital. I can check my prizes early. See what's there. Grab it. I usually use it to grab a stack attack if it's prized. I grabbed Poiples and Nagatidals when I couldn't hit them from my prizes before, so it's just good to have. We are running the three Beast Rings, of course. Three Beast Rings, just because it's easy to load up when your opponent goes down to four prizes. You can sit in a dust, Baby Dust Main too and let them take a prize off that, and you'll have two turns of Beast Ring. One Enhanced Hammer, just to knock off some DCEs of Zorarks. It's just kind of easier that way. It's good to stall your opponent as you're hitting them. You can just keep stacking damage and stall out the opponent if you need to. Knock off their DCE so they can't attack this turn. I'm running two max potions in this list because healing is everything. When you're going up, up against these matchups with uh, Zoroark decks and whatnot and shrine decks running around rampant, being able to heal off that damage they keep adding up on your Pokemon beautiful it's easy keeps them at bay they can't really chase you out and they can't just keep piling up damage running four nest balls in this list because they are 
the best Bridget replacement we have right now. Two switches, just in case someone strains your stack attacker in the active. It's easy just to switch it out real quick. Four Ultra Space, so I can search out any of my Ultra Beast cards, one per turn. Throw it in my hand. It's great to grab uh, Kartana if you need it with Slice Off. You can just slice off their DCE or their Rainbow Energies and these Garb decks. Just kind of hold them back for a turn. Two Acerolas, because, yeah, you need to be able to pick up damage Pokemon. One, two Max Potions isn't enough. Sometimes you got to be able to Acerola, too. Uh, two Copycats. Zorark decks are a thing. They get big hands, and sometimes it's nice to just be able to get a bigger hand, too. Two Cynthia, three Guzma. I could probably cut one of these Tate and Lizes and add an extra Cynthia. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that and just see what happens. Three Guzma, two Judge. Or no, one Judge. We're just playing one Judge right now. Late game, mid game, turn one Judge. If you get a good setup, just cut your opponent's hand down pretty substantially. And they won't know what to do. Two Lilies. It's always nice to be able to hit Lily turn one. And just being able to draw through the deck is good. I run two Titan Lizes, like I said. It is a good card. Easy to... I like the variety it provides. You can shuffle draw five. Or you can switch your active Pokemon. You do run into some situations where... Like I said, stack attack is getting stranded out there with no energy. Don't want to waste anything, so you gotta just switch them out. Then we have three choice band because 120 is a good amount, but being able to hit for 150 with choice band, 180 with beast energy, and you usually can stack up some damage with these baby dusk main. You're just gonna start knocking everything out. And then, like I said, one beast because. Yeah, Ultra Beast decks all need this card no matter what. Adding that 30 damage is a wonderful thing. Then 11 Steel Energies is what we're running. So, let's go ahead and run through a match with this deck real quick. And see how we do. Yes, let's discard these changes so that way I don't look like a total fool. Alright, UB01. Let's see how we do. So, yeah, guys, I am going to just play through this one matchup today. Uh, I'll probably do another video later this week with Buzz Garb decks. Oh, here we go. We're playing. It looks like it could be a mirror match. <clears throat> the mirror match for this deck is interesting, to say the least. It's all going to come down to who can get the most stack attackers on the bench. The quickest. This hand is good, except for missing a supporter. If I had a supporter in hand, this would be the ideal start. Ooh, I wonder what they're setting up on that bench. Alright, it is not what I thought it was. Perfect. We should be good then. Let's go ahead. I'm going to nest ball. I'm going to grab a Poipul. Yeah, okay. I'm going to grab two Poipuls. And then I'm going to Ultra Space for the Baby Dusk. Or for another Stack Attacka. I think the second Stack Attack is good right now. But I'm also debating grabbing Baby Dusk Main. But I think Stack Attacka, just in case for right now, is the ideal play. I'll bench that going to attach for turn to this Poiple, and then I'm going to save the switch just in case I get Guzmud, because if I get Guzmud and they drag another stack attack out, I don't want to be stranded there for a while. Let's see, so this is the Conductive Body Belt, I believe, yeah. Active Pokemon, its retreat cost is one less, oh, Steven's Resolve. Top deck of a judge would be beautiful right now, let me tell you. Oh, they already dropped the super boost on there, huh? Oh, they've got big plans. Alright, so we got an Agonadol. Let's see, let's go ahead, evolve an Agonadol. Let's 
grab ourselves. Yeah, let's grab the third stack attack up. Let me go ahead and see. I mean, I'm not seeing any supporters right now, which is not good. But we will get there. Always manage to get there. All right, let's go ahead and switch in this Nagatidal. We're going to start hitting into this one. Just to get some damage on the board. Ooh, forgot about that resistance to Psychic. It is going to be a long matchup with that Dusk Mane. Might have to set up my own Dusk Mane coming up. I am kind of curious as to why they put that Super Boost on there, but next turn I'm going to Ultra Space for a Kartana and just slice off Super Boost. Throw a little bit of a wrinkle into their plans. Let's see. How many energies do they have? They only have one energy in the discard, so I'm not too worried about this or about this Duskmane being able to attack. I have a feeling they're gonna. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say they were gonna Ultra Ball for Lily or for Lele and then grab a Guzma so they could Geomancy GX, but. or Algorithm GX. Looks like they already had a Cynthia in hand, and I guess they're going to try going for it from there. Yep, there's... I don't understand why they're running Mount Corn in this list. Not going to lie to you guys. I think Mount Corn in this list is absolutely useless. Because they want energy in the discard. With their Metagross. Alright. Still not the best top deck. Though I cannot go and search anything else out, we are going to start loading up one of these stack attackers just in case. So we'll hit him with another beast raid. Oh, it'd be wonderful to hit a supporter sometime soon. His hand's not the worst, but it's not the best either. So it looks like they're going to start going after something. So it's probably best that I started loading up one of these stack attackers. Or they're going to go after this poi pool. Yeah, I think they're going to go. Oh, no, they will go after stack attacker. Kick of Hammer's doing 150. Or they're going to algorithm. Nope, now you're going to go straight for the Giga Hammer. Mm, that was a bad play. That's Super Boost already providing two colorless, is it not? Okay, they did need that extra steel on there. Let's see. Oh, we got a choice band, but nothing to use it with. Alright, we are going to have to ride that turn out. Pass. And if they take the knockout on this stack attacker, that's fine. We can return with a beast ring onto this already loaded up stack attacker. We can load him up. There's no point in really loading up Nagan at all. I mean, Stinger GX is good, but not the greatest. I just really need you to be able to hit a support of this turn. Or even ultra, another Ultra Space would be good, so I can start increasing damage. Let's see. 250. Oh, they're going to Algorithm. And just leave that stack attack is stranded. That could either be a good play, or the worst play they could have made. Yes, they're going to get their hand loaded up, but again, I run a one of Judge, and it, if I remember correctly, it was in the deck, so. Alright, we got something. Not the best something, but we got something. So let's go ahead and shuffle, draw five. See what we get. Okay, so we got Acerola, Beast Energy. Yeah, okay. Yep, I'm going to leave it set up like this. Because I can go in next turn in Dusk Shot for the knockout on that stranded baby Duskman or the big Duskman. Get that. That's two free prizes right now. And they have to knock out a non GX. So I'd only be down one prize. Alright, so they got two minutes. Okay. Ooh, they're going to max. Oh, that kind of throws a wrinkle into the plan. Giga Hammer for Naka. Okay. Where do we go from here? Let's 
see. We can knock out that Lele if we attach the Beast Energy to Naganadol too. So let's promote that Poiple. We're gonna Guzma out and go after. Yeah, let's go ahead, Guzma. We're gonna take. It. See, we're at a hundred. Oh, we're just shy. Oh, that was a big misplay by me. Dang. Ten shy. Oh, I thought I had it there. I thought I had it. I was thinking that I still had five Ultra Beasts on the bench. Mm. Do they have energy, any energy in the discard, though? They don't. So if they don't have an energy in hand or return Guzma, they are just kind of stuck here with that Lele in the active. Uh, Ultra Road. Alright, alright. Let's see. What can we do? We can copycat this turn, or I can Acerola, depending on the top deck. If I Acerola, I'll be saving this Naganado and my Beast Energy. Why would they leave that Sogaleo in the act? Oh, yep. What does that do? Oh, 230. Okay, yep. They're just going to go straight for the knocked out. That is fine. So now we probably will go in with Baby Duskmane, just to start taking some sort of prizes. Yeah, without that choice being, we would have still had it though. That's just a little extra, my man. Let's see, we need an energy. Yeah, let's just go with Baby Duskmane. Yeah, we're going to copycat. And then I can mount corn and if needed, if I don't hit an energy again. Alright, we hit one energy, so let's beast ball, let's see what we got in the prizes, we got a poiple, oh there's the judge, never mind, I guess judge is prized, okay, bench that, attach here, oh if they have Guzma they have game, but you know what, let's just go ahead and dusk shot. We didn't go 6-0 on prizes, so that's the good part. Cynthia and Choice Band. That's probably why I haven't seen it. I didn't see a supporter those first couple of turns. If I could have found one, would have been a lot of much different game. Yeah, I think they're gonna force themselves to knock out this baby dusk main. It looks like if they're loading up this Sogaleo already. I don't think Metagross is that good. I think it just managed to get a one-up on me in this matchup because of the slow start. Okay, yep, they have it. Alright, let's go ahead and give them the well-played. That was good. I messed up. They capitalized. They deserved it. They earned it. Alright, guys. Oh. And eventually I'm going to give you guys a winning video. I promise. You know what? Let's go ahead and run one more with this Ultra Beast deck. UBO one, don't let me down now. Man, that was harsh. That was a harsh matchup. I can handle these shrine decks with it. Okay, so we got Dragon, Psychic, Normal, and Dark. So we are playing most likely what is that? What is that one called? Uh, Ultra Necrozm, Ultra Necrozma. Or we were playing a matchup that I played earlier today, which was a Noivern lock deck with Altaria and Renguru. That was a decent matchup. I will say that. It came down to two prizes, 1-1, one, one, and they managed to get it. Ooh. All right, well... Taking the mulligan, first turn. Ooh, I like their sleeves. Those Crimson Invasion sleeves are nice. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we're not taking too many mulligans for my opponent. Ooh. Dang, two. And we had to start the Cartana. That's not good. Yep. Alright, they're going to take the two extra cards? They will. They should. Okay. 
So this turn, oh, oh, okay, they didn't have a much better start up. Start, they had to start that Marsh Shadow, and that's not the best start. So what do we have here? We have, okay, yep, we are seeing another Neuvern Lock. This is fine. I do want to man it. I'm going to have to be... Hmm. I will have to limit how many stack attack as I bring into play if they're going to come up with this Sneasel slash Weavile to hit me for abilities. Oh. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see what we got in deck. Two Acerolos, a cop, we got both copycats, both Cynthia's, two of the Guzmas, okay. So I'm going to grab Poipal first. Do we have all, we only have two Nagana, okay, we have all three Nagana dolls. So let's see, we're going to go in with another Nest Ball. Let's see the board real quick. Okay, so I think this is going to be a shrine deck, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to grab one stack attacker for now. That puts that poiple in a dangerous position, so I do need to try getting another poiple out. Let's see, poiple. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we're going to copycat this turn. Fresh five. Okay, that's a good start. We can grab ourselves another poison just in case one gets knocked out. You know what? I say we go aggressive. And we take a prize right away. Let's see what they let's see what their answer is to that. Turn one blade GX to go straight down to five prizes in what looks like a one prize deck. Alright, so we got the Garboder, so we have to watch our item count. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Okay. So. Put you here. Drop the Beast Ball, see what we got in here. Oh, okay. Not the best. Ultra space. Well, Lily, before we hit the ultra space, just in case. Okay, so we do have Judge for next turn. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a baby Duskbane just to throw on the bench. See, I only have three in the discard, so I am good for a turn or two. I'm just going to go ahead and Beast Raid knock out the Mars Shadow and hope they don't have the answer for it. I don't think they played a, yeah, they didn't play a supporter last turn, so I'm not too worried. Unless they top deck like a Cynthia or something, then we might be in trouble. But I think they are stranded. And they're hitting me for, let's see, 60, 120. And I'm returned knocking out this Garbodor. So we got this. We will get there. Oh, yeah, that's the desperate shuffle. That was the desperate shuffle. All right, let's see. We are not going to do that. Let's go ahead, grab ourselves another Naganadol. Okay. Enhanced Hammer is useless right now. Yeah, we're not going to judge them. They already are dealing with their own judge at this point. We will attach here. Let's go for it. Beast Rage Knockout. We are slowly getting there. Ooh, okay, so we got the Return Ultra Space if they hit us with another Devoured Field. But I doubt they will. I do not know what my opponent's going to do this turn. Uh, let's see. Destructive Hand, if they do that. Oh, no, nope, they're not going to go in with that. Oh, maybe they have a Wee Violent Hand. What do you do? Alright, and they scoop. They, did, they just didn't get there, guys. They did not get there. 
Alright guys, well, that was that. We got two matches in with with the yu gi -Oh! one deck. I personally love it. I'm a huge fan of Naganadol. So that is probably what I will end up running Friday at our league. So yeah, just one more time. Let me go ahead and run through it the slow way. Still getting the hang of this stuff down, guys. And yeah, I hope to see everybody again soon.